Hey guys, what's up? It's Taylor DeSantis, and this is your Aquarius Sun Moon Rising reading for January 2019. And let's see. Okay, so Three of Cups celebration. Um, coming together with like a group of people um, to do like creative endeavors or like whatever. Um, oh, you also have like the chariot. So controlling opposite forces. So you might be bringing together friends who are, aren't necessarily like, um, they might not necessarily know each other or be a, of the same friend group, I guess. So it's like bringing together two opposite forces to collab in this like really cool way that's not, mm, you know what I'm saying? So then you have the magician, the king of swords, and the knight of pentacles. So the magician has all the tools he needs. He just, um, he's kind of similar to the chariot, except he's not controlling two opposite forces. He's literally like forging things out of nothing. Like he has his like wand in the air ready to like make anything he wants or desires. But with this king of swords upside down, it, it might mean like lack of ideas or um, maybe too much thinking and not enough action. Like with this Knight of Pentacles, it's like slow, steady action. Um, so this could be with your career. This could be with, um, <clears throat> it could be with, um, I don't know. Ah. Five of Wands. So it looks like there's been a struggle where like people aren't necessarily agreeing on things. So with this King of Swords in reverse, maybe you're the leader of the group and you're not um, using your leadership skills correctly or maybe the whoever is leading this isn't leading it properly and maybe you'll have to step up with the chariot and take control of these two opposing forces. Or these people who are fighting, or like whatever you got going on. Let's see. What else do we have for Aquarius? Okay. So, Page of Cups. This one is about like talking to your cup. It's like, you see how he's talking to the fish? The fish would be like your inner child, like your creative side, um, like you want to talk to your cup. Like think of it as like the cup is like you birthing this idea into the universe almost. And that's what the Page of Swords backed it up to say like, um, you're going to be taking that adventure, it might be it just in your mind, but it could be like traveling for real. Um, so you should move forward with that. Um, with both of these because the pages are like fun new studies or like things that you haven't done yet it's more like um like if you're going off to college if you are starting a new business if you are um anything that you're just now starting it says go ahead and go do that and the queen of swords is here too so maybe it's you and a partner <clears throat> because you have both of these Um, so maybe it's you and your partner disagreeing about some things and the fool and the death card are the two last things I have here. So the fool upside down tells you that maybe now is not the best time to make decisions where you just jump. Um, and the death card follows that up by saying like, maybe that you should either in this relationship or and cut yourself off from these friends or either just end whatever you got going on all together like this whole creative endeavor with these people and find a new group of people to do something with or maybe you need to look inside yourself and go deeper inside yourself to make all the other cards align and manifest for you in whatever way you need them to. Um, Understanding. So understanding is like you feel caged and it's just like a cage in your mind. 
because you can get out of the cage. The cage doors are open. You can go fly with other birds. You can go hang out with other people. You might just be trapping yourself in your own negative thinking. So, and conditioning. So, conditioning, this card is like about your line, basically, and you're amongst a bunch of sheep. So maybe this, these two are here to say, like, you are right in whatever you're saying, but maybe you're coming across to the wrong people. Maybe you're casting, um, pearls to swine. Maybe you are, um, maybe you need to separate yourself from these people and be alone and stand on your own. Because <clears throat> a lot of the time we want to help people, but you can't really help anybody until you help yourself. So people don't, you're fucking with other people's karmic debt if you're helping them. So the only thing we can do is inspire, not necessarily help, because when people see you doing something dope, they want to do it too. It's the only thing we can really do. <clears throat> so it's about being able to like stand on your own two feet and get your shit done and just be an inspiration, not necessarily put yourself at a loss for other people. Oh, whoa. So no thing is, Nothing. This is like <clears throat> it's about being happy with literally no things. It's about evaluating what is important. Um, oh, see what I'm talking about. It's about evaluating what is important to you without um, material possessions or anything on the outside of you. It's like getting to a place where you're happy, like with nothing really, just yourself. So then, also you have traveling and harmony right here. So, with the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups, it definitely says that you should go. Like, you should definitely take an adventure, and it's gonna, <clears throat> maybe it's just an adventure too by yourself. Maybe it's um, a vacation so that you can find yourself. I don't know. Because it's, like, it's complete, and it's like a major arcana. So, it's like putting the last little piece in before you really take off in whatever you're trying to do. If it's your job. Or whatever and you or your business or whatever you've been trying to start like back here at the beginning of the reading whatever you've been trying to put together maybe it didn't work in the past but with this participation card it says like now is the time to do it but maybe you need to get away from either um you need to take yourself out of whatever situation you have now and or start that situation now if it didn't work in the past now is the time to like gather your people or like whatever okay i'm gonna pull also to like one of these like So, align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Um, I think that everything's gonna... With this card here, it says like everything's gonna go good for this month. For sure. So... You need to know, like, whether you need to separate yourself or, like, go for more. So, whatever you do, good luck. <laughs> I'll be back next month to give you guys your February reading. And you can go to my website, tylerdesantis.com, to get personal readings from me. Bye.